Now this is some plastic free packaging I can get behind. Let's go. For those that didn't know, Return of the Jedi was originally called Revenge of the Jedi, and it was changed at the last minute before the movie's release. So this Darth Vader is the version of Darth Vader where he's walking through the darkness and there's red light shining on him. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's any more to it than that. If there is some Star Wars lore that I don't know about why this is painted red, let me know. But for my shallow memory, it's just lighting from the movie. So this blister card does come out in front of the packaging so you can save it and put it on your shelf. Although he is just a repaint, he is gorgeous. I didn't realize that the red paint they were going to be using would be so shiny and reflective. I thought it was matte. From the pictures I saw on Matt and the reveal online, from the pictures I saw online and what they showed the reveal, he looked more matte, but he's really crisp and shiny, and I dig it. I'm not sure if I own the standard release version of Return of the Jedi Darth Vader, but I do have the carbonized version. It's the same book. So if you're interested in the articulation of this guy, in the right top hand corner of your screen, there is a link to the video where I review this guy and go through the articulation. If you don't feel like watching that, you can just be satisfied here looking at this beauty. So this is absolutely gorgeous, man. And the cape, it has like a, it has like a red and black, <laughs> I don't wanna say blood splatter, but like a polka dot, tiny polka dot pattern on there. It just looks really good. When I pre-ordered this, I thought it looked cool, but now that I have it in hand, I think it is awesome, man. I don't know if I'm gonna put on my regular shelf or what I'm gonna do with it, but he looks spectacular. Now I love my carbonized version, because he is pretty, but he might be my new favorite Darth Vader. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments, talk to me. Is some shiny red paint enough to get you to jump in and get another Darth Vader, or are you gonna pass on this one? I totally think it's worth it. You know me, I like to complain about repaints and prices. So if I'm telling you it's good, then that's gospel. Coming from the 4,377th ranked toy review on YouTube, baby. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notification, keep coming back for more. I noticed this week, 31% of my viewers are return viewers. The other 69% first time viewers. If you always subscribe, I would have 20,000 subscribers. Come on, hit that button. Until next time, Kool-Aid Darth Vader is out of here.